Hallo kijkers van Shine Spice, ik ben een nieuwe aflevering van Latest Mystery Journey. In de vorige aflevering zijn we erachter gekomen dat er heel veel geld uit deze kluis is gejat. En deze aflevering is de eerste video die ik opneem met mijn kale hoofdje. Dat is zeker nice. In ieder geval, ik vind het nice. Ik hoop dat jullie het ook nice vinden. En zo niet, I don't give a fuck. Let's nuke and go. It's a very impressive looking vault, Mr. Sloans. Aha, yes, this is the hermit... 5000. Hermetically sealed and totally indestructible. You should fire a shell from a tank at this thing and the contents would be unharmed. What? In fact, it's not really enough to call it a vault. This thing is a fortress. Howie, does, does it really need to be so tough? Mm, I made it myself, lad. Well, one of the companies I owned it anyway. Really? You own a company that makes vaults for banks? Let me tell you something, lad. It's not just people's money that the bank's vault keeps safe. Oh, it's the bank's integrity and the customer's trust. Oh, that would be a smashing slogan for your new vault. So, as soon as we'd uh, completed the manufacture of the Hamlet, Hermit, Hamlet, Hermit 5000, I had it installed here in the bank. Uh, it th I thought it uh, would give our customers even more peace of mind. Uh, that's what I thought. I can't believe it's been breached so easily. I misjudged that one. And no mistake. Hmm, so it's the latest model, this vault. Hey, this is blijkbaar belangrijk. Blijkbaar is it belangrijk that it's the, la uh, the latest model is. Just look at that, uh, how thick and heavy this door is. The vault door can only be unlocked by entering the correct passcode. And only three people who know, uh, there are only three people who know that code. Uh, there are Mr. Sloans himself, Mrs. Teller, who you met before, and the manager of this branch, uh, Mr. Shinplasters, who is now in the hospital, of course. So in other words, no one can open the vault apart from those three people, I see. When the security guard noticed there was a problem this morning, he found the vault door open already. And the branch manager was uh, out cold on the floor. Oh nay. So presumably he was the only one who opened the vault then. That's the only explanation uh, we've been able to come up with so far, yeah. Um, we had a good look at the vault door but there are no signs of uh, being forced or ja uh, jammed in anyway um, a great big door like uh, this one would uh, be impossible to force open surely exactly so either shin Plessis was coerced into opening the vault or the criminal slipped in after he'd opened the door for himself uh, there are only two uh, possible explanations as far as i can tell right Hmm, yes. Hmm, after everything we've been told so far, this does seem like a rather strange case, doesn't it? There's no trace of a robbery at all, not a single scrap of evidence. That's exactly the problem we're facing in our investigation, Sunshine. Well, before we uh, give up hope, let's uh, just look around inside the vault. That would be alright, wouldn't it, Mr. Sloans? Of course, uh, I'll give you the guided tour. So this is uh, what the inside of a vault looks like. It's enormous, isn't it? And so shiny, the entire thing is made of metal. That's for security. The walls are just as thick as the door and made of heavy metal plate. How could anyone manage to steal anything from such an impenetrable box? The um, answers are locked within, Ernest. Um, that's uh, why we need to investigate. Uh, 
I say what an incredibly large fan. That lad is the heart of the Hel uh, Hermit 5000 ventilation system. The air temperature and humidity, humidity are kept uh, uh, constant at all times. But why would you need air conditioning in a vault? People only come in for very short periods of time, surely? We don't just keep cash in our bank's vaults, you see. Uh, we store expensive jewelry and works of art for customers too. Things like that can be ruined by even the slightest variations in temperature or, or humidity. The um, Hermit 5000 isn't just as strong as an ox, it's as gentle as a lamb to the things inside as well. Oh, I see, yes, rather like the air conditioning that's used in museums and art galleries, of course. That's the idea, lad, yes. Although I have to confess, the fans been on a bl blink a bit recently, so we've had to turn it off. Obviously that doesn't affect the security of the fault in any way though. I see, so the air inside the fault is managed using a large fan uh, which is connected to the ventilation system. Kijk, weer een hintje. Het feit dat hij het al een tijdje niet doet is een clue lijkt mij. Een heleboel monies. Look, miss, gold bill bullion bars? Oké. Okay. And so many of them. Yes, that's what I would expect to see inside the large bank's vault, really. What is it? Have you spotted something, cat? How long has the bullion been in the vault, inspector? Do you know? They told me it's been sitting here for about a month now. In other words, the thief who, or thieves uh, who stole the 100 million pounds would have also seen this gold, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's true, but Mrs. Teller informs me that uh, every bar is accounted for, no gold was taken. Why though? What thief wouldn't be dazzled by all these gold bars? Yeah, that's a bit odd, can't come to mention it. Uh, I would have it had it away, and no mistake. I mean, not that theft has ever crossed my mind, ever. <laughs> Lol. I just speak in hypothetically, alright? I think uh, even you'd struggle to make off with such uh, so much of this gold, Inspector. It's extremely heavy. It's not uh, something you'd be one you'd want to be trying to move in a hurry. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Um, it would have slowed whoever whoever it was down too much. Huh? Okay. Uh, so you think that's why the gold was left untouched and only the uh, re reddies got taken? Do you? It's only a theory, but yes. We won't know for sure until we've investigated more thoroughly. Wel lekker dat dat vrouwke er niet niet bij is deze keer. Die die Italiaanse detective. Well, your fault is in every bit as impressive inside as out, Mr. Sloan. Well, that's kind of you to say, so less. The Hermit 5000 is a proud achievement for our company, I must admit. Or should I say, it was. Uh, the fact that its security has been breached like this is a flaming embarrassment, to be frank. And as for the 100 million, I won't beat around the bush. Uh, this could uh, very well be the end of the layman's reserve bank. So we've got to find out whoever uh, did this and bring the scumbag to justice. <laughs> ah, hello DC Booker. So you're working on this case, are you? Uh, could you tell us what you've found out, Constable? Of course, well, I've been interviewed a number of key people and, um, ah yes, here it is. Apparently there uh, were works uh, or art and very inspective pieces of jewelry in the fold here, as well as the gold. However, the thief or thieves only took banknotes uh, to the value of, um, ah yes, uh, 100 million sterling. So everything else was untouched, it's uh, peculiar that perhaps whoever um, it was just couldn't be bothered to go through all the drawers. There are a lot of them, ik weet al wat er is gebeurd. Sowieso is uh, die blower aan de achterkant, is die uh, 
op tilt geraakt en is de andere kant op gaan bla uh, blazen zodat al het geld ingezogen werd. En wat alleen maar briefgeld is, gaat dat makkelijk mee. Perhaps it was just a matter of not having enough time to take anything. Nee, dat moet het zijn. Dat moet het zijn, ik weet het zeker. Oh golly, is, is this the chalk outline of Shinplasters, the brand manager? Yup, this was uh, where he was found this morning. It looked like he uh, hit his head when he fell on the floor and knocked himself out. So they uh, took him off in an ambulance, like I said. I had the lads mark out where he was found, just in case it turns out to be important. <laughs> The radar makes it look like a murder scene, doesn't it? Luckily, I don't think um, there are any chance of that. Okay. Uh, they say the in his injuries aren't life threatening. Now that's more. There were the pallets where the banknotes op lagen, waarschijnlijk. Absolutely. Oké, okay, dus ze stonden dus al toen we vanmorgen zo binnenkwamen. Apparently, the missing money was stacked up on these pallets here. Oké. Okay. All those notes would have been rather heavy, wouldn't they? One person alone couldn't be taking them all, surely. Nou, ik denk dat er helemaal geen person bij was. Hmm, I think we've seen enough uh, in here uh, for now. Okay. Oh, Miss Layton, have you worked out who it did already? No, I couldn't say just yet. We need to do a little more investigative work first. Well, I'm afraid I've got a few business matters to see too. So I uh, have to leave you to it, if that's alright. Absolutely, you can leave this in our hands, Mr. Sloans. Thank you, Miss Layton, and good luck right then. Ta-ta-ta, for now. Okay, do we... <laughs> With this bank 100 million down, I would say they got more than a few business matters to attend to. Dat denk ik ook. What I reckon is, the thief or thieves must have snuck into the bank sometime last night. Uh, then he or she uh, or they uh, waited for the branch manager to come in this morning. Okay. But does it, is that really what happened? No, I think not. <laughs> not to mention the fact that immediately after the incident this morning, he says he didn't see anyone other than Mr. Shinplasters. So apart from being long-winded, uh, your theory also fails to explain how he or she or they got in and got out of the bank unnoticed. Oké, okay, dit is allemaal niet belangrijk, want... Oh. Bank robber. Even kijken, whoever executed the heist somehow managed to get into the bank, open the vault, in incapitate the manager. Uh, and make it off with 100 million notes. Yeah, that is the whole. Um, excuse the intrusion, but oh, Mr. Sloans is here in too. In here too, sorry. Looks like he's deep in conversation with Mr. Stellar at the moment. Let me make one thing perfectly clear, Bianca. You're the general manager of Lehman's Reserve Bank, so you have to take responsibility when problems like this arise. If it gets out uh, that we've lost 100 million quid, there will be a rush on the bank. All our customers will want to take their deposit away. And if that happens, we're finished. And I'm getting. Uh, am I getting through to you? Loud and clear, Mr. Sloans. 
All right then, good. I've got a lot of faith in you, though, Bianca. You'll uh, weather this storm for us. Um, the thing is, what? Nothing. Forget it. So, uh, where are you going now, Mr. Sloans? Uh, the ventilator in Hermit's uh, playing up. I've got to call uh, the maintenance fella and get him to take a look at it. I see. Bianca, I've got uh, somewhat to say. Spit it out, Les. No, really, it's um, it's nothing. <laughs> Alright then, um, if you're sure, I'll be off. Make sure you see all Shin Plaster's jobs as well, won't you? Yes, I will. Golly, they are in, uh, in a real fix, aren't they? Hmm, Miss Layton, I didn't see you there. How's the investigation coming along? Well, I think we'd just um, like to have a word with Mr. Teller, Mrs. Teller again. Be my guest. Ta-ta for now then. Oh, it's you. I thought you were supposed to be investigating the robbery for us. Yes, that's what we are doing. Well, I'm a busy woman, so there, if there's nothing uh, you need from me, uh, could we keep it short, please? Oh look, that's a cute little safe. A word apart from the vault uh, we were looking at before, isn't it? Perhaps uh, we should install a safe like that in the office, miss? Sadly, Ernest, I don't have anything valuable enough to put in a safe. Or much money to speak of. You're interested in my safe now, are you? Well, obviously it's tiny compared to the Hermit 5000, but Mr. Sloan's had this one put in as well. Oh, so it was made by his company as well? Yes, although I don't know much about uh, business affairs outside of the bank. Apparently he markets uh, these little safes as being as tough as a bank's fault. Your boss is uh, a very shrewd businessman, obviously. Mr. Sloan is a perfect example of a manager as far as I'm uh, concerned. Until now he's mainly focused on the financial sector. But I think he's intending to branch out into other areas from now on. Gosh, he's really a very impressive man. Yes, it's quite extraordinary that in just 10 years the Lehman's Reserve Bank has opened branches all over the country. Hey, Puzzle, that's always luck. It was the first day of the day, anyway, yo. This is a jolly fine blade, don't you think? It's alright. Personally, I find the puzzle that's behind it far more interesting. Gosh, I hadn't noticed it. Now that's done for you. What a funny place to hide a puzzle. Let's do the puzzling. The puzzling. Traffic jam. Here's a tale of a road plagued by traffic jams. Okay. The road has two lanes. And it's uh, quite narrow, so two cars can only just drive alongside each other. If the road is jammed up for an hour, there are 100 cars in queue. Okay. And if it's jammed up for two hours, there are 200. If the only possible cause of the traffic jam is cars, okay, what would be the minimum number of cars that could cause a three hour delay? Hmm. That could cause a three hour delay. Uh, nog uh, gewoon twee, als je gewoon twee uh, uh, auto's over het wars hebt. So Misschien zelfs één hoor. Misschien is zelfs één het antwoord. I don't cut the mustard at all, do I? Ik denk dat het dan één is. So in conclusion, ja. That's a relief. Ik dacht wel meteen goed. Als eentje naar overdwars gaat staan. Ja. Yeah. Nice. Easy winning, zeggen ze dan. There I did, miss. I solved it. So you did, Ernest. Just as well. 
I can't have my assistants being poor at puzzles. Absolutely not, miss, but there's no need to worry. I won't let you down. Dat is fijn. Ik wil u bedanken voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je dit een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie ik graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.